What's up you guys? It's your girl Amelia and I am back with another video. As you can see from the thumbnail and the title, I have another balloon mosaic frame tutorial for you guys. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and also let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. So for this balloon mosaic frame, I'm going to be making a autism puzzle heart. And the puzzle pieces in the heart represents the complexity of the autism spectrum. The different colors and shape represents the diversity of the people and families living with the condition. Unfortunately, in this video, I won't be filling it with balloons because I made it for someone else. So when they fill it with balloons, they will definitely tag me in it on Instagram and I will post it on my stories. So if you'd like to see that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Loverly Events or The Real Loverly so you guys will be able to see how it looks with balloons. But without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. The link for this template will be in the description box below. I'm using a 5 feet template. So after I cut out my heart onto my foam board, I'm going in with my pen to trace those lines so that it will leave an imprint onto the foam board and then I'll be able to use my pencil and draw the lines later on. And you guys will see exactly how I do that. You're free to um, freehand the lines if you want, but because I know I can't draw, I always use this method. I just press down with the pen on the lines so that it'll leave an imprint. Now I'm going in with my pencil to draw on those lines that I just marked on the foam board. And for my side walls, I'm going to be using 6 inch strips of foam board and that's just pieces of foam board that's 6 inches wide. The length does not matter. And now what you see me doing is scoring my foam board so it'll be easier to go around my curves and this is how you get your foam board to bend as well. So if you've seen my other tutorials then you'll know this little trick. I use scotch tape to hold the foam board down before I glue it. This saves me a lot of time and it allows me to move to the next step while the glue dries instead of me holding onto the foam board and waiting for it to dry. Also remember to close up all your gaps. I use tape to hold it together before I glue it. This way I won't have any unnecessary gaps on my mosaic frame. Oh, 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 oh,
Now it's time for the fun part. Using six inch strips just like I did for the outside walls, I'm going to be gluing foam board onto those puzzle piece lines that I drew earlier. And you guys will see exactly how I do that. And for my little circles, I'm scoring my foam board so that I could get it to bend. Right, guys so we're almost done now it's time to make the stand for this heart the person wanted it to sit straight up so it gave me a very 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 hard time doing this because the heart is five feet and it's super heavy and it was just not easy to put a stand on the tip of the heart at the bottom so I um, let it stand up then I glued it onto my rectangle piece of foam board and I cut two right angle triangle and glued it to the side. I'm going to show you guys some close up of how I um, made it hold up so it won't fall over but I used a lot of glue. I think I used like one of those long glue sticks and one and a half of those in total for the whole stand and if you do these all the time then you know that is a lot of glue stick but I did it so it is possible. So this is how the stand looked guys. I used so much glue that it even held up without me putting that weight on the back of it. But whenever you add the balloons it'll be way heavier so you'll definitely have to add some weight at the back. And I will show you guys how it still stand up straight when I remove that weight from the back of it. Hi. 
you guys so this is the final result for my puzzle heart mosaic frame as I said earlier if you'd like to see it filled with balloons please follow me on Instagram and I'll definitely post that on my story so you guys will be able to see how it looks with balloons in it I use about 5 32 by 40 foam boards from Hobby Lobby and I will list the rest of the details and the materials in my description box below but please leave me some comments in the comment section let me know if you're gonna try it or let me know what you think about this tutorial give this video a big thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family and i'll definitely catch you guys in my next video bye